The day after Valentine's Day, 1991, a woman's body was found in the Florida Keys. She had been assaulted and strangled. Her belongings that were found nearby and her tan lines indicated that she was not from the area. The woman had a tattoo on her left shoulder and another one of a tiny cross with sun rays emanating from it on her hand. Witnesses came forward claiming to have seen the victim the previous day hitchhiking out of Key West about 20 miles from where she was found. Detectives followed countless leads over the years. More than 4,000 pages of investigative documentation were amassed. This is the composite drawing created by the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. The case of Valentine Jane Doe was profiled on a number of television shows, including Unsolved Mysteries. In 2020, Monroe County officials looked into the case again. They had heard about other cases being solved with new DNA technology. They entered Valentine Jane Doe's DNA into public DNA databases which helped them identify her. On June 15, 2020, officials announced that they identified the victim as 18-year-old Wanda Diane Kirkham of Hornell, New York. Sheriff Rick Ramsey, who worked on the case, said, This case is a testament and shining example of the agency's commitment to solving crime, no matter how old the case and no matter the challenges. Officials also announced that a person who took Wanda's life had been identified as Robert Lynn Bradley, who lived in Miami at the time of the crime. Bradley's life was taken in April of 1992 in Tarrant County, Texas. Not much is known about him or how his life was taken, but one can only hope that it was as painful as possible.